What's going on you guys? We're back with another video today. And I'm going to be doing my official first ride on the Yamaha R6. Because the only time I've really ridden is just when I got it back from the dealership. But I already did do some mods to it like I was telling you guys. Right here you can see. Dang. <laughs> right here you can see I have the integrated tail light from JL Designs and also their fender eliminator kit. So that looks much cleaner now what do you guys think do you like it better i mean <laughs> i don't know who likes the stock fender that came out to like here but this thing looks pretty clean so i'm gonna be doing my official first ride on the r6 let me get this thing started up i should probably open up the garage first <laughs> even though it's a stock exhaust it'll still um that's still not good for you but this looks pretty crazy having the three main yamaha super sports right here R6, R7, and R1. That's sick, man. Right. Now let's start this thing up. Cold start, 2020, Yamaha R6 stock exhaust. This will be pretty underwhelming, but nevertheless. I love that starter noise though. Yeah, ain't no noise. But the cool thing is it says titanium. Low key kind of cold out today, especially for July. Happy July, you guys. First of the month. <laughs> I'm surprised. This is still so surreal to me, seeing this high of a RPM on the gauge cluster. Especially coming from this, because I shift at like, I think it red lines at like around like 10,000. So to now be <laughs> all the way up there is wild. All right. But now let's head out, you guys, and do the official first ride on this beauty. This thing feels nasty, you guys. <laughs> now, I hope the audio comes out clear because it's pretty windy today. Um, so that kind of sucks. So I hope it doesn't mess with the audio too much. Hope you guys still hear me pretty clearly. And I can't really tell until I'm editing this right now. Oh man, I'm so excited right now to go do my official first ride, kind of feel this bike out a little bit more because I was way too nervous on my um, uh, first ride home and the last video that you saw. But this route I'm about to take is some pretty decent open roads, it should be. Um, as long as there's not too much traffic in front of me, which right now looks pretty good I really gotta get used to this clutch though so effortless to the speed limit I keep short shifting way too much like, that's what I have to get out of my brain. It's kind of like, when I went from the Grom to the R7, I was short shifting like crazy. And now going from the R7 to the R6, I find myself doing the same thing. But man, like I literally have to try with this bike. That's just what I'm realizing at first to like get up to the speed limit. It's like barely any throttle input. This throttle tube is like so good. 
everybody on the R7 forums always talked about swapping to the R6 throttle tube and said it was like a night and day difference. So now I'm kind of realizing that. I was like, damn. <laughs> Dang, I should have done that. But it's okay. I got this thing now, so you're not going to find me complaining. But it's like no input and it just picks right up. <laughs> Man! But I'm so happy because I... Oh, let me try and get around this car. I probably just made them mad. <laughs> I usually wouldn't do things like that, but it's just because I know this road is like a one lane, so... So I just don't want to get stuck. Just trying to like feel like the weight of this right now and how it um how it feels tossing it over. Is that a cup? Water company. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to ease into it. On my R7, I'd be going crazy right now into this corner, but I need to feel this thing out. I feel these tires are too. Let me just do a little bit in fourth gear right now. Warm these things up. But when I hit 8,000 RPMs, I feel everything light up. Like the whole bike just starts to shake, I guess, just from like the, the road and the whole motor and everything. Like, I guess you just feel like it's, um, getting into its power band. You just feel the whole visceral experience start to come out of the bike. Okay. Let's go in third gear here. Yeah, 8,000 if you had sweet spot. I hear everything change there. Like, I, even though it's muffled, like I said, that high-pitched tone is just perfection. Try these brakes out. Wow. Wow. This front brake is money. Okay, we got a student driver here. Let me take a turn up here. Hopefully this people aren't in front of me. Okay, they're gonna take the same turn. Never mind. Alright. trying out that rear brake a little bit. I just really got to get a feel for everything so I'm comfortable. But look how quickly I catch up. <laughs> like I have like no throttle input and it's just going right up. Just picks right up. That's insane. And the, it's in like standard for throttle. It's not even in like A mode. What the heck? It literally picks up so quick. Like second gear right now, just like this is gonna be like 10%, 15%. And it's just ready to go. All right, I feel these tires getting warmed up right now. Starting to feel better. Man, this thing is a beast. My initial impressions though on this ride right now is this is nowhere near similar to my R7. Like, looks on the outside, okay, yeah, similar. Buttons and controls here, everything, yeah, Yamaha is uh, very similar. But as far as a riding experience, the feel being on this and the, the engine, the suspension, the handling, it's, basically just the whole drivetrain no comparison at all I mean I should expect that completely two completely different motors but I don't know I feel like they would feel more similar than they are but this is like a I don't even know like I have no words this thing is a monster 
I don't know, the R7 to me was so friendly and just initially, just right off the jump, it was very friendly. But this thing is like, okay, I want to go. And this thing just wants to be pushed. That's at least how I feel on my first less than an hour of riding this. Ooh, some gravel right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. It's so muffled, but like with the stock system, but like listen. Oh my gosh, that tone. That's insane, you guys. It's just such like a, I don't even know what the right word is. Just this whole experience on this thing is so aggressive. This thing does not feel like... How do I even explain it? This thing does not feel like it, it wants to be on the street, if, if that makes sense. This thing literally feels like it just wants to be revving out the entire time and being pushed like hard. This thing does not feel like it wants to be chilling at 45 miles an hour in these back roads. I gotta get used to this clutch though. I need to toss a little quick shifter on this thing though. I think the Yamaha GTYR, GYTR one is pretty much plug and play. Um, and it's like 200 bucks. But that's for upshifts. If I want to do an auto blipper, I gotta change up some stuff and do, I think, there's like a Dino Jet kit and then also like a TransLogic kit. So I gotta look into that. That'll be pretty sick to do. But that'll come at the end. I need to do fork on throwing an exhaust on this thing first but man even like this the seating position everything this is like race ready i feel like like on my r7 i'm way more upright like this and like my the rear sets everything but on this thing i'm like hunched over like just ready to like be in a tucking position i guess it's the best way to kind of say it or more like race ready and I apologize if this is very like all over the place how I'm talking, I don't even know. I'm just like in awe right now with this bike. This thing is crazy. No throttle. This is crazy. It's literally like no throttle. It picks right up. That's just... Whoa, bro. I'm just smiling right now. If, when I'm not talking, I literally just have the biggest smile on my face right now, you guys. Oh uh, man, if this guy wasn't in front of me right now, I could have got on it a little bit. Yeah, this thing is much more than I expected, if I'm being completely honest. This thing feels crazy. I thought, I wasn't expecting a, this R6, this 600 to feel this aggressive and this powerful, if I'm being honest. Like, I just want to get on just a little bit, if I have some room. Oh my gosh! That top end power, just once it gets past 8K is... And those brakes! Come on you guys, this is... Oh man, I can't believe this is real life. And I'm on one of these right now. Okay, come on neutral. There we go. Dude, I love this thing. But I really need to grow as a rider to push this thing to 
its potential. But this bike is perfect for it. This thing will, this thing's gonna really help me out become a better rider. And just seeing 808 miles on an R6 right now is crazy too. I still can't believe that I was able to get one of these with this low miles. I literally don't want to get off of this bike right now. I could be a hero all day long, man. I do have some parts coming in today, though, some more. I literally just spent a bit, I'll say that, a bit of money on parts. I got a lot of things coming in. And what I just ordered today, too, I ordered some GB engine racing covers. I do not want anything to happen to this. And I, cause I really, I really need to protect this motor, you know, worst case scenario, this thing does go down for whatever reason. I want to make sure that this low mileage, uh, motor, cause that's really hard to replace is, um, is okay. Oh my gosh, you guys! This thing screams in these high RPMs. I can't even imagine this thing with a full system exhaust. But we will see soon enough. Yo! This, the sound is just crazy! I can't get over it! Dude, this thing just picks right up. Okay. A lot of trucks that way. I'm not gonna go on this road. I'm gonna go sit in traffic. <laughs> oh my gosh this thing is crazy you guys man you guys have seemed to really like this bike all the comments on youtube on my reveal video were positive which usually you never see there's always some hate you know <laughs> but everything is basically positive that i've received on this bike so far so i know i picked something good which i'm really happy about as well all right let's get around this guy just want to make sure we are good all right oh my gosh you guys this thing is unreal this suspension feels really stiff and solid. I like it. All right. Oh, what the heck was that? I don't know if that was like the biggest bug ever or there's a rock that just hit me. As long as it don't hit this precious paint. This thing is mint. Wow. Wow. I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. I don't know what to say, you guys. I need to do a video of just... When I get a full exhaust, I need to do a video just sound and a POV ride. <laughs> Yo! This is so crazy, bro! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just want to scream!
Okay, I love this bike. I love this bike. No regrets with this purchase at all. I need some tank grips so I can hold on though. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let me chill out for a second. Now imagine if I wasn't recording for all this. Now I can't even begin to imagine what a leader bike would feel like. I think that about wraps it up for today's video, guys. I'm like, I know you guys probably want to see this thing pushed a little bit more, but I, I gotta go at my pace on this thing. This thing is wild, but trust me, once I'm used to it, I know what you guys are looking for. I'll definitely uh, put that out there. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, please ride safe, take care, and peace.